A package came in the mail today. I'm going to attempt to do this while holding the camera. This probably isn't going to work out very well. No, this is not going to work at all. Let me get the tripod. That is tight. Now, well, let's see if I can do this any better. That tape didn't cut. That was one hand it didn't. I'm not sure what we're looking at here. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I'm so thankful for that. I don't have one of these. Oh, look at that. Wow, that's a nice one. Look at that. Wow, look at that. If you don't know what that is, I knew it immediately when I saw this. That's a, a welder's helmet. Oh, it's a, what's this? It's digital. What? There's a battery, there's minimum max delay, sensitive, wow. I believe that's like an LCD. It, oh, cool. So you can see through it. A little bit, and when you start to weld, I'm guessing it dims, it, it uh, darkens more. I've, uh, when I was in high school, I took welding class, metal shop actually, and I, I learned how to weld and all that. And uh, I haven't welded since, and um, dreamed about it, always wanted to. But anyway, I remember you couldn't see a thing through the welder's helmet back then. Look at that! I can't wait to try that out. Now I've got a reason to start experimenting on my welder. Um, there's, oh, there's a battery. Oh, and there's another shield of some kind. I don't know if that's a, an extra. It's probably an extra. I'll have to check the instructions. Remove this protective film. That's actually that. So there's a... I'm going to have to check it out. There's a manual. Um, auto darkening. Yep. Auto darkening welding helmet mask. Cool. Well, I got some reading to do. Oh, cool. Well, thank you. Um, I saw the, the comment I uh, in briefly, really quick this morning, but I was running, so I'm going to get on there and, uh, and uh, thank the person that mentioned that something was arriving in the mail today. I did not expect that. Not ever. That is cool. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Good evening, everybody. Quarter to eight in the evening. This is Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World and the Off-Grid Project. I just got home. And I left this morning to take boxes in from our grocery store. And I drop them off at the post office and the UPS drop-off point every day and normal routine um i uh generally i'll tell you my my routine it's very simple i get up between 6 and 7 30 today was 6 a.m and i uh pray for a while and read my bible for a while and start my day out right with a cup of coffee and the lord and then i work on my video in the morning and answer comments check emails and then I print invoices and shipping labels for the store. And then I go into the store and I process orders. And that takes me to about 10 o'clock, uh, usually, that I'm done with that. So four hours are gone already. And then I go into town and drop off those orders. I warm up the Jeep and uh, brush my teeth while the Jeep is warming up. And this is actually, this is routine. This is every day. And then, um, put the boxes in the Jeep. And then I go to town and I drop off the, the boxes to the post office first and then to the UPS second. And then I saw a line of cars in town. And I'm like, wow, I didn't hear about this, but I'm betting it's the food bank again. So we went, I went. I was alone. And it was a quarter to 11. And I, then I asked somebody, uh, face mask on, of course, um, is this the food bank? And they said, yep. So I stayed. 
and waited until 12 until the traffic started running and they opened it up and we got a load of food that I brought home and then when I got here there was something new let me turn around there is something new at the homestead it's not television I don't have time for television we are so busy uh, we use internet TV as needed that is internet and uh, the guys were here waiting on me and I finally got tired of Frontier Internet I've been with Frontier for three years and I have been cheated up down and right and left and all around if you go to their homepage it says guaranteed $29 for life and then there's a little asterisk and you read the fine print and it says after two years the price may vary based on blah 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 a little bit a little bit okay I don't remember the exact words my internet has gone from anywhere for, after two after I think a year actually after a year it went up to forty nine dollars a month and then it went up to a hundred and then it went up to a hundred thirty dollars a month for my frontier internet and I had uh, I was supposed to get uh, between 1 and 2 megs upload and between 12 and 24 down uh, depending on what package I was supposed to be getting but that was always up for question based on, yeah, I don't know it was a mess, it was a nightmare anyway because um, they did flip me around from time to time which is weird and my internet was up to 120 a month and uh, 30, 130 and then one time they charged me a late fee. And I said, why are you charge me a late fee? And they said, well, because you missed a month. And I checked my records and I checked my payment. I said, I didn't miss a month. And they said, well, you have to pay this month to catch up. So I paid double. And the next month I had a late fee. I said, why do I have a late fee? And they said, well, you missed a month. I'm like, I just went through this last month. And round and round and round and round and they hung up the phone on me. And after a few times of that, I had to pay or lose my internet. So I paid two months. The next month, I got a late fee. And uh, I called Frontier again, and round and round and round and round. And uh, they kept hanging up on me or put me on hold for eternity. So I, they, I had to pay for three months that month. So I paid three, four, five, six, seven months of internet in a total of three months' time. And was, in quotes, caught up. And that was at $50 each. Now, lifetime guarantee, $29 a month, but I was paying $50 a month then. Anyway, after that, the price went on up to $130 at one point, and now it's at a nice and stable $80 a month. Lifetime guarantee, $29 a month, but it's been $80 a month for a few months. And I said, forget it. So I called a satellite company, and we have satellite. Now, there's no wires. That is, if you can get further off the grid, if people say that having a cable to your house for the internet isn't off the grid, then there you go. There's no wire. That connects up there somewhere. 22,000 miles, it says. 22,000 miles away. There's no cables to our property for the internet. <laughs> Not anymore. Then I've got uh, $60 a month, which is cheaper than 80 So I've reduced my internet cost, and my upload speed was, with Frontier, uh, 0 0.5 to 0 0.7 meg uh, per second upload. And I did a speed test, and I had 4 megs today upload. And that can vary. It should be about 3, and it can go as high as 5 and sometimes fluctuate. Um, so this morning's video took me two and a half hours with Frontier and Internet to upload. Two and a half hours for an 18 minute video and I think it was 500 megs of, of video. Very small. I'm not able to do a full HD video. I have to really crunch it down. I mean I do HD resolution but I crunch down the um, the uh, data rate and all that and uh, the quality so I can get it to upload. I can't wait to see how this video goes tomorrow on my satellite. Now with satellite you have a uh, longer uh, ping. You have a, a bit of a delay, a very noticeable delay when you connect to a website. But when you're streaming or downloading or uploading, it's faster, by far.
So we'll see how it goes. And uh, so they were there, and then they uh, took a little while, and they got our internet hooked up. And then um, I took over some food to a, an elderly man who I help out and uh, dropped that off. And then we went and got uh, some supplies we needed. I did. I had my full protective gear, but the family went with me for a ride. And uh, now we're home. That's our day. That was it. That was our entire day. Um, a good day. An exciting day. And I can't wait to try out the new internet. Um, there's more off the grid there, I'll tell you. And cheaper bills. And uh, I got the garbage container the other day because there was no way to dispose of garbage out here. So the uh, and situation in the world right now is affecting us in certain ways. And that, that costs some money. But here we're cutting costs a little bit. So um, that's pretty cool. I can't wait to go try it out. I don't think I got much more to say. That was our day. So thanks for watching. This is Troy from the Do It Yourself World and the Off Grid Project. And I do call it a project because uh, subscribe to our videos and watch as we strive to become fully off the grid and self sufficient on a budget. We got a little bit longer to go. We'll be there. Talk to you later.